Hello everyone, I'm Husker Eurocat, welcoming you back to the Foggy Nelson Career Mode series. And in this episode, you'll see coverage of the third round of the Wells Fargo Championship from Quail Hollow Club in Charlotte, North Carolina. After round two, Foggy was tied for first with Hideki Matyusama at 15 under par. To start out round number three, Justin Rose, Ryan Palmer, and Paul Casey are starting out very hot with birdies on all the holes that they've played. It would appear that Foggy is going to have to have a good round in order to stay on top of the leaderboard. In order to accomplish that, though, He's going to have to stay out of the trees and the rough, something for which he's had problems here in the last couple of rounds. Foggy has made his way to the first tee and is ready for his round of golf, so let's join him there. And thank you for joining me for the third round of the Wells Fargo Championship, and I'll see you after the round. This isn't the straightest looking shot in the world. Close, but no skill. Makes his par. Makes his par. <laughs> Looks like the next shot will be from the rough. That's going to be short. Not a terrible shot. That's a good card. Converts his part. Mm, well, maybe, uh, you know, did we forget our sunscreen? Are we trying to keep it in the shade here?
Next part. Nicely played on this one. Looks like it'll find the rough. All over it. That's a birdie. This one could drop. Got to be happy with that birdie. Got to be happy with any birdie. Well, I feel kind of privileged in a way. I think I'm just waiting. Whoa, get out the stopwatch. This isn't coming down for a while. All right, can we get a hang time on this one? That's up there forever. Won't have to chip it now, but a lengthy putt coming up. A little too much mustard on that putt, possibly even sauerkraut. A great finish! Yeah. Yeah. This is heading for the rough. Need more club in this shot, this one.
Mm, well, and maybe, uh, you know, did we forget our sunscreen? Are we trying to keep it in the shade here? Damage the hole. Okay, I think we had a rush of blood to the putter head there. McCord, look at this one fly. Beautiful looking shot. Come on, baby! on the right. Great shot. He's got to be pleased by this. Just needed a little extra push there. A solid par. This one might burn out during the entry. Uh, more than a little mistimed, I feel. This will be a long putt from the edge of the green. Oh, this ball is really hit well, but there's sand out there. Whoa, this will be over the green. Wants to clip this one ever so crisply. A solid par. Oh, what a swing!
Very nice. Ah, oh, you've got to love that. That's fantastic. That's your birdie. Welcome back, everyone. Wow. Judging by this round of golf, I don't know if Foggy knows how to play from the fairway. On the front nine, every other hole was off the fairway and either in the trees or in the rough. At least number seven was a par five, so he had time to recover. But he did manage of two under par on the front nine. Then he ran into number 12. A four putt leads to a double bogey. That's gotta hurt. I don't care who you are. But at least he was able to finish out the round with red figures on the scorecard. You would think somebody would come from behind and play well enough to take the lead, but he takes a four shot lead into his final round. 20 under par after three rounds of golf. Phil Mickelson had a nice 5 under par today, leaving him at minus 14 for the tournament. We'll just have to keep an eye on him to see if he can at least finish in the top 10 this week. That brings us to Foggy's shot of the day. That came on the back 9 at the par 5 15th hole. After putting on the left side of the fairway, Foggy is in an excellent position to go for the green and choking down on a three wood from 248 yards. Foggy puts it within 17 feet of the cup and strokes an eagle putt to go 19 under for the tournament. Now that Foggy has a nice cushion going into the fourth and final round, can he stay out of the cabbage and out of the kitty litter long enough to record a win here in Charlotte? Please keep in mind that if you enjoyed this video, leave a like so that others will be able to enjoy it as well. And if you would like to be notified when there is a new one, subscribe by clicking on my icon at the end of the video. Thank you for joining me for coverage of round three of the Wells Fargo Championship. And until I see you for coverage of round four, this is Husker Eurocat saying goodbye and have a good day.